So it's the day after Christmas and you got a model kit gifted to you and you're wondering, hey, what do I need to put this thing together? So this is a little bit of essential tools for building a model car. First thing is a set of sprue cutters and or X-Acto knife. Both of these you can get at either Hobby Lobby or you can get them at Walmart. I would suggest getting these at Walmart. They are half price than what they are at Hobby Lobby. So they're in like the crafting section. But something like this for cutting the parts off the trees. So I'll show you here. So you just like snip them. So that's what those are for. And X-Acto knife is going to be kind of the same thing. You can cut uh, stuff off the trees or you can take care of flash or anything you need to do with this exacto knife good thing to have for the hobby also you'll need some glue uh, I recommend this uh, Tamiya cement or you can do this Tamiya extra thin cement both are very good both work wonderfully for plastic model kits You'll also need, for certain things, you'll need super glue, like chrome doesn't really want to stick. Sometimes you'll need super glue for that. I don't recommend putting a whole kit together with super glue, but it's been done before. Also, like a specialty glue for windows, uh, canopy glue, or this tester's clear window glue like that. Paint. I do like Tamiya paint. These are two different kinds. This is acrylic. This is lacquer. Both are good. I don't uh, particularly just use one or the other. I use both. You can do the testers enamel little bottles. Those are at Hobby Lobby. They're okay. They're more readily available, I guess, at like a Hobby Lobby or whatever. So that could be a benefit to you. But um, I prefer the Tamiya paint. Also a good set of brushes. Uh, it doesn't matter what brand they are. Hobby Lobby's got good brushes. Uh, certain things, just make sure they're for oil base. For the most part, I think they do the best. So, there's that. A set of tweezers. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. These are Tamiya tweezers, but uh, tweezers are a good thing to help handle small parts. Sanding sticks or files are good for sanding seam lines, uh, sanding parts together so they'll fit better. They're pretty essential. I use them every time. Some kind of tape. Especially if you're doing like a two-tone body, you'll need tape. This is good painter's tape. Makes a clean line. This is some Tamiya tape, as is this. These work very well, but you don't necessarily have to spend a bunch of money on tape, but make sure you get some good tape. You'll need spray paint. This is primer. This is color. I do like Tamiya brand, but, um, you know, Testers makes good stuff too. I would avoid using like Rust-Oleum or Krylon, like they're for outdoor furniture. I've seen some people get good results at it, out of them, but most of the time they don't. So just kind of keep that in mind. They're, I mean, they're for outdoor use. They're not for a model that either you paid good money for or someone else paid good money for, and you're going to put, you know, three dollar paint on it, and it's going to look like shit when you're done. So, uh, clothespins and toothpicks. So. You'll always use them for something. Like, I would use these as a clamping tool to put stuff together. I always use a toothpick. Uh, usually for detail painting, most of the time. But like I said, I use them on every build. So, And there's obviously other things you can buy that are non-essential. Like, air airbrushes are cool, but they're not essential. You can build kits without an airbrush. So... If you have any other questions or any other recommendations, I guess, uh, you can contact me or put a 
comment in the video, and I appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.